Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe that way you'll never miss out on another video like this one. So Diwali is coming up, depending on where you are in the world, on the 12th or the 13th of November. And I thought this would be the perfect video because this is the perfect ritual that you could do on Diwali to manifest whatever it is that you want, really. Um, but you can do this any time of the year. The best days to do something like this is a new moon, uh, which Diwali is on a new moon. And Diwali is basically in the Hindu culture. It's the festival of lights. It's celebrating triumph over evil and the triumph of light over darkness. So we're kind of conjuring that light into our life. But you can do this any time you need to. And it's basically manifesting with the number 108. 108 is a very auspicious and very lucky number. And around Diwali, it's like you can do a lot with that number. Okay, so I have a list of notes here that I wanted to talk about before I get into showing you how exactly to use a mala. Now, what I'm wearing right here, this is a mala. You don't need a mala. What you need to do is to have the number 108 in your mind, okay? And keep a tally of it, keep a count of it. And what a mala is, basically, it's this. So you could turn it into a necklace, you could turn it into a bracelet, an anklet, or you can use it, um, and I'll show you how to use it. But it's basically to help you keep count of how many times you affirm something that you really, really want, or a mantra, or um, an affirmation, or some kind of manifestation saying that you want. Now, 108 is a very lucky number, like I said. Um, there are 108 points that define a Sri Yantra. What's a Sri Yantra? That is that geometric pattern right behind me. I have been using it for years. It's very lucky for me, and it's also very lucky to work with. Um, it's a geometric pattern that is a pattern of the goddess Lakshmi, who is celebrated around Diwali. But not only that, she's the goddess of wealth, of abundance, of beauty, love, um, and working with her, she bestows a lot of just good energy upon your life. And in this Sri Yantra, her Yantra, it's, there's 108 points on it. And it's, this geometric pattern is believed to help you manifest the things that you want. I have a few videos on my channel where I do show you how to use a Sri Yantra, so check that out too. But the other interesting fact about this is 12 zodiac signs. We have 12 zodiac signs, right? And we have nine planets. If you times 12 by nine, you get 108. So you see how that number keeps popping up when it comes to our universe and creation and manifestation, right? Now, in Hinduism, every deity has 108 names. That's pretty interesting to me. I didn't know that, but when I found that out, I was like, just, it's like all coming together. The puzzle pieces are coming together of why this number matters and means so much. Now, I'm gonna get into showing you how exactly to use a mala in order to manifest what you want. So here's what a mala looks like. It has 108 beads in it. This one you can find on my website. I have a few left, they're going pretty quickly, so head over. But um, malas are used to repeat your affirmation 108 times. That's why there's 108 beads on there, so that you can keep track of every time that you um, say an affirmation. Like, you know, something like, I am wealthy and abundant. I'm wealthy and abundant. I'm wealthy and abundant. And you do it until you reach, you know, they always have like a stopper or something. And mine's actually has uh, a little moon on it. And these are lavrakite beads. But you could use any type of mala that you need to or want. You don't really have to use a mala. Uh, you can also like tally it on a piece of paper. Every time you say your affirmation, you're going to tally it. And you want to make sure you do this 108 times. Now, you can use a uh, mantra. Uh, you can use, you know, a mantra for a deity or an affirmation of your choice, whether it has to do with money, love, relationships, you want to manifest a new car, 
you're gonna want to say that 108 times as if you already have it and you're just gonna keep track with the mala now depending on what beads are on your mala it's even more lucky and powerful say if you, like larvakite is very good for manifestation um, or if you are doing something for love you can use uh, rose quartz mala and you can you you can wear this as um, a bracelet how cute is that an anklet a choker a necklace or keep it on your altar so there's a lot of things you could do with it and then once you um, say it 108 times you want to keep this on your altar or wear it um, and just keep it with you keep it safe because it is infused with your I, I, the word incantation keeps popping up in my head it's infused with your intention and it's charmed so that's how you manifest with the number 108. You basically have to say your affirmation 108 times. And that's it. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and head over to my Patreon for more videos where I cannot talk about those things here on YouTube. So I have over 300 videos over there on Patreon. And then I also have another website where I teach you guys. Also, there's a spell on there using a mala of how to make somebody come towards you. So head over there. Links are down below. Head over to my shop. I'm having a Diwali sale. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.